Tommy music pours out of this church on the edge of LA's Koreatown. But behind each voice, a story of pain and struggle. My name is Daniel. I'm 22 years old. I'm here because I was um, IVing methamphetamine and heroin for several years. The church houses more than 50 Korean and Korean Americans, mostly in their 20s, who are trying to overcome their addiction to drugs. What we've seen over the last 10, 15 years are predominantly alcohol abuse really within the Korean community. We also see uh, emerging now trends among the younger Koreans of methamphetamine, uh, cocaine, uh, heroin. Hallelujah! 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 But with a culture where people hide their personal problems, entering treatment can be a big and shameful hurdle. My dad just completely, um, he just completely disowned me pretty much. Um, and my mom, she had no idea what to do um, until she found this place. After immigrating in the 70s, Yang Ho Han's American dream descended into a 20-year addiction to cocaine and prescription pills. He finally quit after an overdose and opened the church in 1996. Drawing from his own experiences, Pastor Han has been helping these young people, providing free housing and a counseling program that includes their parents. You know, Korean family, they only concern about education. They don't really concern about what? Personality, the character. For years, Daniel's mom struggled in silence. I knew he had a problem, but I can't say it. Because all the Korean mommies or daddies, they don't want to say it. They knew, but they can't. She now sees no shame in her son wanting to get well. I know he had a hard time, but in my life, it was the hardest. Yes, it was really hard. <laughs> but it wasn't worth it. Today, a proud mother in Hebox stands beside her son in his fight against addiction. Linda Zhang, Associated Press.